We begin this half hour with earthquakes in Oklahoma. It is an odd thought. The Sooner State is not exactly quake country. Yeah, just this week, there were 150 Oklahoma quakes. And this year, less than two months into 2014, the number is nearly 800. Some scientists blame gas and oil drilling that uses hydraulic fracturing or fracking. Jeffrey Kluger, editor at large for Time Magazine, is here with more. Jeffrey, good morning. Good morning. Thanks this for is a me. pretty stunning number, isn't it? It's a really stunning number, especially when you consider the fact that from 1975 to 2008, there was precisely one quake per year with a magnitude of 3.0 or over in Oklahoma. It's now up to 40 quakes per year, and you get all of those other, those larger numbers are as a result of the smaller quakes. There were 2,600 quakes under 3.5 last year alone. The sense I got from the article, though, is that it's not really fracking itself so much as the byproducts from fracking. So what is fracking? Break well, it down for us. Fracking is a process of drilling deep wells miles below the surface and then setting off powerful explosives, which fracture the bedrock, hence the term fracking, and allow access to trapped oil and gas. Now, that in itself, you would think, would be a destabilizing process. But in order to hold those fractures open, they have to inject millions of, of gallons of water, of fracking fluid, deep into the ground to hold them open. And this is where you're starting to see problems. This is where it's the wells themselves that hold the water that goes in that they think are causing the well, problems? Well, what it is, it's not when, when the fracking is done, when the, the gas and, and oil are extracted. The, the fracking fluid gushes back out. That has to be stored. So there are 4,400 of these deep injection wells around Oklahoma, and millions of gallons of water are injected into them in very high pressure. That's what we think is destabilizing the, the bedrock. You look to Arkansas and Ohio, and it seems like they're a little bit ahead of the game in saying, we're going to ban where these wells can be. Is that what Oklahoma needs to do? Is it where they're located that's causing the problem? It is where they're located that's causing the problem. And I do hope that Oklahoma has literally had sense shaken into them at this point. What they need to do is relocate where these wells are so they're not so close to natural fractures that they destabilize these fractures. Remember, anything that changes the load balance underground can make a difference. China had a big quake in 2011 as a result of building a very large dam simply because you change the pressures that are put on these fractures. Has the have the regulations on location in Arkansas and Ohio actually worked? Well, they have worked. It's too early to tell, actually, but they have worked, or at least they should work. If you get these wells away from where the fractures are, you tend to eliminate the problem simply because the weight changes where, mm -hmm. where the fractures are aren't enough to affect these, uh, these quake sites. When we talk about these 800 earthquakes, it's obvious that they weren't that big, otherwise people would have heard more about them. Right. But if they don't make changes, could these earthquakes get a lot bigger? Yes, and the funny, the detail I like to, to the analogy I, I like the best, is that a 3.0 quake causes a shaking that's the equivalent to a carton of milk falling from your counter on the right. kitchen floor. That's not too much. but. Oklahoma had a 5.6 Richter quake in 2011, which was, broke a 56 or 50, 60 year uh, record of a 5.5 back in 1952. So they're getting bigger and that can mean trouble. Jeffrey Kluger, thanks very much for being with us this morning. Thanks for having me.